Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Lauren. I have been MIA for a while, but I'm back now. I promise I am back. I missed you guys, but I'm here. So guys, well, to be honest, I couldn't really make a lot of hair videos other than wigs because my hair has been in protective style. As you can see, I've got a lot of thickness and a lot of length. Look at that growth. But that is for a whole nother video. Okay, so let's get back to this one. Trying something that I know works for my hair. I have done it for my hair in the past and is the Cherry Lola treatment. This is a whole year later. I haven't done Cherry Lola treatment on my hair for a while, not because I have any adverse effects to it or anything. It's just because I didn't feel like, feel like my hair needed it at the time. So yes, my hair's been conditioned and I don't mean conditioned with a product. I mean, my hair's been conditioned, trained to be in Cairo for a while. So I'm finding that my roots are quite frizzy and this is the stuff that I need to help smooth down my frizz yeah let me just show you the the quality of my hair got lots of build up and lots of grays but i don't mind the grays guys that's what i'm saying last time i was here i didn't even have that many grays now i've got a few grays popping through <laughs> so anyway guys I'm going to be applying my cherry loader treatment on my roots and i'm going to show you how i make that up now and the three products that i'm going to be using you're going to need baking soda liquid amino acid preferably the bragg's kind some full fat yogurt and a mixing bowl. So now you're going to want to pour the entire contents of the yogurt into the bowl. Yes guys, even down to the lid, we don't waste around here. Now you're going to add four tablespoons of the liquid amino acids but you can also add more if needed. And now you're going to use equal parts of baking soda, so about four more tablespoons of baking soda. And again, you can add more if needed, just so you can get the right consistency and texture. Now you're going to mix all that together so you can get a bubbly, light, foamy, almost blancmange type consistency and then your mixture is good to go. As you can see, the mixture is now starting to bubble and that's what we're looking for, guys. Okay, so now you've seen how to mix your Cherry Lola treatment. I've got one here that I previously made, or the one you just saw me make. And if you can see guys, it's quite runny, but it's almost got like a blancmange type texture. And that's what you want. I left it to rise a little bit. Right, I've made a big batch because I'm gonna be using some, two reasons. I want to use some for my daughter's hair also, but if not, I think, to be honest, I've got a lot of hair now. It's gonna be necessary to have that much. I don't wanna have to, apply it to half my head and then go and remake another batch. Plus I haven't got any more yogurt anyway, so. <laughs> this will get messy, so you will need a towel, guys. I'm gonna need a shower cap as well, guys. Uh, it smooths down the strands and it's temporary. So I'd say this lasts for about maybe three to four weeks. Not very long, it's curly hair, guys. As you can see, my hair is quite tangled because that's what happens. It's like the hair is just attached, intertwined with one another. So this just gives it a bit more breathing room. And if you are new to this routine, I can list my original video down, which I've done for my hair and my daughter's hair. Uh, I can list that down in the description box. Right, so now I'm going to apply my mixture. I'm not too fussed about the ends, it's just more so the roots that I'm trying to smooth. And you don't want to detangle with this, guys. Just, I'm just literally just easing out where there may be slight knots, but you don't want to detangle. You're gonna do all that detangling when you wash it out. I know people aren't very privy to putting baking soda on their hair. Um, as I said, do what works for you. I'm just showing you, I'm just giving an example.
Okay, so guys, as you can see, it's fully applied and it was a good thing I used all the yogurt because it is done. All right, so I'm gonna put my hair up for 20 minutes and I will come back to you as I'm about to rinse out my hair. Okay, 20 minutes guys, I will see you in a sec. Okay guys, so it's been more than 20 minutes, maybe about 30. Um, I got a bit distracted. So now I'm gonna take down my hair before I go and wash it out, just so you can see if there's any difference. Easier to detangle, so obviously, yep, it's done its thing. Right, okay, so let me go and wash this out and I will be back with the final results and my conclusions. Okay guys, so now I'm back, I've washed out my hair with cream of nature detangling moisture shampoo and i haven't put any conditioner in my hair i haven't put any leave-in conditioner in it got no webbing as i usually get my roots are still a bit frizzy um well not like anything catastrophic anyway guys so thank you for watching this update i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching guys if you have any comments or questions leave them down below in the description in the comment section all right guys so i'll see you in the next one bye